Right yani kama K yani ni mseto East Africa ambapo unacheki video kali za Afrika Mashariki na zaidi hapo ni kwamba pia unapata fursa ya kipekee ya kuweza kutana na wasanii ambao unawakubali. Msanii ambaye anaheshimika na kuheshimika na kukubalika Afrika Mashariki nzima katika wasanii wa kike ni Avril. Hili ni jina ambalo halihitaji utambulisho. Niko naye kwenye mseto. Mambo vipi? Poa sana niache. <laughs> Nashukuru sana. Mambo vipi? Kazi, mziki? Mm -hmm. Wow, mziki, maisha, kazi, kila kitu bomba. Um, nilikuwa nimechukua bit of a break. So nilikuwa mja mzito for some time. Nika sema, let me just take a break, kidogo. Nika, nika ingi into motherhood, so kulikuwa na ile transition. But for now, of course, I love appear, not forgetting that during that time nilikuwa studio. So mziki, of course, bado nikuwa naenda nao, lakini nikuwa jaribu kufanya hiyo transition from... From from one stage to another stage kwa maisha angu. Okay. Mm. Kwa mafansu wako wengi sana iliwa, iliwa pata by surprise kwa mba we ni mzazi kwa sababu wako tarajia. Wewe binafsi uliko ume panga kwa sema kwa mba ikifika 2018 na tegemea kwa mzazi ama iliko ni gafla? Nilikuwa na tarajia kuwa nita kwa mama sometime soon. In, in fact kwa nzia age of 26 nilikuwa nimesema badi I'm ready for motherhood. Mm. Pia mulangu ulikuwa na, yani kulikuwa na ile craving mm. nilikuwa na nisema um, instincts za motherhood zina kuingia around 26. Mm. So 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 mm. nothing was happening mm. then and unexpectedly mm -hmm. nikawa yeah nikafika your time mm -hmm. so nizasema it was both a surprise lakini something nilikuwa natarajia sana nilikuwa na hope itakuwa ikifanyika sometime soon so mm -hmm. it did happen mm -hmm. for me nilikuwa nilikuwa na furaha sana okay yeah. kwa hivyo uh, ni sawa kusema kwamba haukuwa umepanga lakini ilikuwa ni blessing pia ama uh, ulikuwa umepanga na ilipotokea ni kitu ambacho tulikuwa tunatarajia ni kitu tulikuwa tumezungumzia na baba mm -hmm. mtoto mm -hmm. yeah kwa megusia gusia tukisema by the way mm. ana liko tisha chagua jina and everything yeah. so tuliko tuna hope that it will happen yeah mm. lakini wajua some okay some families and some couples wao wanapanga na sema by the way even utakuwa ni nini nini mm. but for us mm. tuliko tumuongelea mm -hmm. yes it's something that we would love mm -hmm. ikifanyika kwenye maisha yetu mm -hmm. then when it did happen mm -hmm. ilikuwa yani it was just a blessing mm -hmm. yeah unajua hakuna kitu kizuri kama kuwa katika hali ya mapenzi na kwa mashabiki wako wengi sana wanafurahi kuona kwamba una furaha na umejaliwa kuwa na mtoto lakini mpenzi wako ni swala moja ambalo limekuwa gumu sana mbona umemweka umemtimbia sana baba mtoto ni nani Sita sema na nimesima sita sema baba mtoto nani why because um, ata mtoto wangu mwenyewe watu wanajua yes na mtoto lakini sijimonika kwenye social media watu wanajua tuku ma em haujuni na lake the reason why nilisema for this stage of my life wa kumuka kuwa nilikuwa engaged at some point in time right na it didn't go too well and one of the key factors ya ya situation yu kuto kutuenda vile nilikuwa ataka yende ni kusababu ya ku weka private matters zangu sana kwenye mm. mitandao na pia kwenye you know public eye mm. so unfortunately haiku work one of the key factors like what that specific situation so nikasema for this time round which unbadilisha kwa sababu pia ukifanya kitu the same way the same way same way same way same way same way hiyo ni kuwa cheesy sio mm -hmm. so sometimes unabadilisha some things that way you're a father mm -hmm. you have a beautiful wife lakini si lazima kushinda umemweka mm -hmm. kwenye mitandao kuna some things zinafaa kuwa private. Mm -hmm. Kula vitu unafakua unazi enjoy we mwenyewe. And that's one of the things that mesema lazima ni enjoy mwenyewe. And it's the most important thing anyway which is family. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ni kitu muhimu sana kuwa na familia. Na unajua kwamba kwa ndoto ya kila mmoja ni kwamba siku mmoja kuja kuona labda umefunga atandoa. Mm -hmm. So huyu unamweka siri labda kuna imani kwamba ipo siku mtakuja kufunga ndoa nae dunia labda itamjua ikibidi ya wamjue ama atanelea kuwa siri for as long as Avril ni Avril na nyambura ni nyambura. <laughs> I think tuta cross your bridge tukifiki hapo. Mm -hmm. For now sino hakika, I don't know. Sijui mm -hmm. future yangu itakuwaje. Mm -hmm. Sijui kama mimi na baba mtoto tutaweza you know, settle down eventually if we do well and good. If not, of course, ni rafiki yangu sana na tutaendelea kwa marafiki for forever. I mean, tumejaliwa kuwa na mtoto pamoja, hatuwezi kusa kuwa marafiki kama tunaendelea mtoto. Kuna watu wamemtajia jamaa mmoja sana. Watu wamemtajia sana. Oh, sijui Eh, ni J Blazing sijui ni nani utakana ama utakanusha ama utaacha siri nitaacha tu siri mm -hmm. yeah okay, lakini J Blazing rafiki yako sana rafiki yangu sana tunafanya kazi pamoja in fact tunatarajia kufanya a lot of things kuna kampuni tunao pamoja mimi yeah Saint P um mimi niko na a small part the small part i play but um the main two people ni J Blazing na Saint Saint P um kuna kuna tunzi wa mziki kama Tommy Flavor one of the uh, one of the songwriters kwenye nini Moji Short Baba one of the songwriters as well kuna Hasani kwenye hiyo kampuni inaitwa LS wamefanya so, project yangu in love i hope mmeisikia mmeisikia hapa kwenye mseto so yeah let's see what 2019 holds okay. <laughs> jungle mseto east africa family
kwa kusubscribe katika YouTube channel sasa. Weka notification button on upate update zote mapema. Kumbuka mambo mseto nyumbani kwa malezi ya vipaji.